danger because there was no room for them in the inn. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just preparing for Christmas, my favorite holiday of them all. Like many, I'm going to be spending my time snuggling up in a blanket with hot chocolate by the fireplace, cherishing precious time with my family and friends, of course, listening to Frank Sinatra's A White Christmas, relaxing, reading, and praying. Basically, catching up on all of the things that should be primary in my life, but unfortunately have become secondary because of a great crisis I think we all face in our modern age. I struggle a lot with seeing only the terrible things in the world that we face, focusing on the death of our culture, our crisis of identity, lamenting the loss of tradition, and having my heart broken over and over again as I watch death on the TV screen, as I watch our churches being crushed, our statues chopped up, and our history burned. And because of that, I let myself get into a very nihilistic place. In fact, I think we all do. But like many moments in my life, when I feel I've lost guidance or purpose or I have questions, I tend to go back to some of the messages from my childhood that formed me to be who I am today. And I can truly think of no greater mentor than J.R.R. Tolkien, who, when Mary Brandybuck found himself far away from home, like many of us, heartbroken with the realization that his adventures and the outside world were never quite what he expected them to be. Tolkien, through the voice of Haldir, responded with the most eloquent defense of optimism that I have ever had the pleasure of reading. The world is indeed full of peril, and in it there are many dark places. But still there is much that is fair, and though in all lands love is now mingled with grief, it grows perhaps the greater. Our world still possesses so much beauty, so much hope, and so much depth and purpose. While man-made lights may drown out the stars in the sky, it doesn't mean they aren't there anymore. They can still be found, just like our kindness, our decency, our pursuit of greatness and goodness, our craft, our creation, and our spirits. They can all be uplifted once again. Throw a lasso around it, pull it down. Salvation will not be denied us. It's one small step for man.